What's up, everyone? This is Ronnie just coming to you with June's uh, sales update video. I just chose a few different things. It wasn't that many great things. Sales have been slow. I mean, with the stupid glitch, uh, taking away a shitload of photographs, not listing, um, shit happens, you know. But uh, keep calling eBay. Keep talking to them about that the glitch that, um, you know, it only shows one picture. It shows no pictures. I can't get it fixed. I've tried all the little shortcuts that people have talked about. Um, nothing's worked. I was talking to him the other day because it was a glitch with PayPal refund. Stupidest thing I've ever seen in my life. They're full of glitches and all kinds of stupid things. And there's no way I would be going to eBay events. <laughs> They're hosted later this month. Like, uh, yeah, you can't fix your shit. You want me to hang out with you? Mm, spend money to hang out with you. Mm, no, not happening. But they now the now the thing is going to be fixed by July 13th. So what's that like three weeks or something without pictures on some of my listings? It wound up being 96 on my listings, and so not unfortunately not one of those listings I've sold either. So, but let's get into a screen share instead of hearing me psycho babble. All right, this is a Bose power supply. I had picked up three Bose within a week's um, these sound docs things. Two of them I sold on Facebook, the local marketplace. So I paid $10 each on the three of them. And I sold one for 60 one for 75 One did not work. So I sold just the power adapter for 25 you know. On this, you know, make a few dollars. It's not really that thing. I still have the, the sound dock. I'm probably going to list the sound dock for parts um, and see if somebody wants it or needs it and see what happens. But, um, yeah, sometimes you get stuff and it just doesn't work and there's not much you can do about it. But scavenge, savage, whatever you can out of it. I picked up these two bags right here. And... I picked these up. I paid five bucks each. There's two of them. These are Max Edition. These are little bags. They're actually smaller than what they look like here on the screen. This was a green one. These are like hiking bags, so on and so forth. And I thought they were a different bag in the origin originally, but after closer inspection from the website and everything and checking the sizes. And they weren't the more expensive bags. These bags retail for about 80 bucks. So this one I got 45 free shipping. I've tried working with a different bunch of different things this month since I'm not running. Well, this was like probably the last time I ran a sale here. And this was. Uh, sometime. This sold sometime early June. This was on eBay for 12 days. So that was pretty good. Like I said, I paid five bucks for it. You know, maybe I made thirty dollars profit or something like that. And here was the other one sold for this one. I had shipping on it, so I got a little bit more out of this one. One was a left sided, one was a right sided. Really odd um, for carrying your firearm and got a water bottle and all kinds of things like little hiking thing. There's like a concealed carry thing in this, but actually pretty good bags and this one sold in three days so they sold pretty quickly this is a ryan spooner we're all over the place over here this is a ryan spooner this is new with tags i picked this up not too long ago this was only listed 32 days i paid six dollars for it and this sold for sixty dollars plus four shipping. I almost did not pick this up because it is the St. Louis Rams. This shirt probably ten to twenty years old, somewhere in there, maybe five years old. But the Rams now moved to LA, so I wasn't really sure if there would be a market for this shirt. But somebody picked it up, somebody wanted it, made me happy, and it sold. These are a pair of Salvatore Ferragamos. These are patent leather loafers. They're eleven. They weren't in the greatest condition. I priced these to sell. Um, at one point, you could see 
they've been resold and everything like that. I paid five bucks for these at a yard sale. These and another pair of shoes, I paid five each. These sold within 17 days for $80 shipped. So, not too bad. This was a Laurel Piana shirt. This was a really nice Laurel Piana shirt. It was linen. And this one I held out. I had a lot of offers on this one. I held out for this one for a little while. I, had, I was only into this for $4. There's the tag right there. It was this weird, like, you can see yellow and pink. and It came off, like, this orange color. But pretty cool shirt. Nice shirt, Laurel Piana, great brand. There's the tag right there. And this sold full price, $100 plus $4. Actually, this shipped for more because this went to the UK. I think they paid around $22 shipping on this one. And this took 62 days to sell. Here is a pair of... Gucci men's shoes. These show uh these shoes right here. So I got these with the Salvatore Ferragamos. I paid five dollars for these. These took six days to sell. I took a best offer of these of seven you know eighty-five dollars shipped. So not bad. Once again, they were patent leather, not the greatest shoe, but for five bucks, somebody wanted them. Um, and they had, you know, there's a little bit of life left in these. Somebody wanting to have some fun. This is a Orvis men's jacket suit, sport coat, sport coat. We'll go with sport coat. It's made with Harris Tweed. Anytime I find anything with Harris Tweed, I kind of like it, but I don't pick it up as much unless it has some type of a good brand behind it. In this case, it has Orvis. Orvis is a very good brand. Had a nice little brown herring bone on this. And this sold within one day. So, you know, people say don't list certain things certain times of year. Somebody wanted this. It went to California. You know, a tweed jacket in the middle of June. So it sold. Like I said, it took one day. I paid seven bucks for it. Sold it for 125 shipped. So I'll take it. Not complaining there. This is a pair of women's St. John's like stretchy denim pants. Uh, they had gold hardware on them and everything. I had these listed for a long time. These are even the newer St. John's uh, clothing and stuff like that. These have been listed for about a year and a half. I got these at Christmas time a year and a half ago in upstate New York. Paid 10 bucks for them. I didn't even know they were new when we got them. And that's about it. They sold. These sold on best offer for one hundred and ten dollars plus six shipping. So St. John's just had the newer tag. Let me see if we can pull it up. And I don't think I took it. Oh, here we go. It's a newer St. John's tag right there. So always happy when. Things sell. I mean, it's, it's always a good thing when things sell. This took a little while. We all like those things to sell on one day. Sometimes they take a lot of days. So what are you going to do? So next item here is a pair of Prada boots. I overpaid for these boots. I paid 50 bucks. I kind of looked up comps, and I thought they were selling for better than they were. and I kind of struck out a little bit on these. Like I said, I paid 50 bucks. They sold for 150 I took a best offer. Um, I think I was originally asking like 225 or something like that. But I was happy to get out of them when somebody was, hey, let me give you, um, you know, this, you know, 150 I was kind of like, okay, you know what? Let's move on from this and, um, be happy and you know take a little bit of money i probably made 70 bucks on these so it's not overly bad but it's not great profit i mean it's it's not the profit i'm used to anyway but i will pay up for good things 
he's probably needed a little bit more um, help. So let me see here. Another pair of shoes. Shoes have been selling really well for us. Like I'm thinking this month of already, this June, I mean July. July has been really good. He's selling shoes. These are a pair of Floor Shine Imperials. They're size 12. Just a beautiful shoe. Some wear. No, not really much wear on these things. See right here. Not really much wear at all. These were, these are a nice, beautiful shoe. They're in demand. The V cleat, you can see right here, these are handmade. See the nail marks. See the nails on the, right there. You can see the V cleat is right here. That's the V cleat. This metal little triangular cleat, I guess. But I find these shoes every so often. I found actually sold these and I found a pair the same day. Not as great condition, but I was into these for ten dollars. Sold them for one seventy five plus ten shipping, and these took the Prada shoes took fifty eight days to sell. These shoes took forty four days to sell. I technically try to pick up things that sell within one. What I think is selling one to three months. Sometimes things just don't sell as great. And this I picked up a while ago. I picked this up 91 days ago. I paid ten dollars for it. It's a vintage smoking jacket. It's really cool. It's from 1969. It's made for a serviceman overseas. You see right here, it was made in Okanagua. O Okanagua. Probably maybe saying that wrong. Japan. Um, let me see. And you can see right here, Colonel. So and so, January 1969. But beautiful, really, really nice, beautiful jacket. You could tell there's no name behind this or anything. Somebody's gonna want this for their collection or something, and wait for that one pyre. I was asking more at one point, but I think that was kind of like in a wrong ballpark to be asking. But um, you know, those are 12 items we showed you. I mean, these 12 items sold. That's all for full price, too. That's all for $199.99. Anyway, let's get back to this. Like I said, I try to stay within a day, uh, within a certain time frame with um, trying to have things sell. Our average selling took 70, say, of those items. They took an average of 77 days to sell. One thing took one day to sell. Something took 500 and something days to sell. You take that $500 day out of there, they had, things actually sold fairly fairly nicely in, in that grouping um, of things I showed you. you know. But um, that's about it. Hope everybody's having a good time. Summer is here. Trying to make videos, it's going to be hard and, you know, got so much going on. But uh, like, comment, subscribe, more likes, more comments. I'll try to um, make more videos. See you guys later. Have a good day.